Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will be touring RVs today and we will see if the price have changed and if it is for us, we'll see what's happening. You guys, I would like to say a quick prayer before we begin. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for our life. Dear Father God, open our eyes today to see your truth and understanding of your will. Help us, Father God, to have a heart that desires to please you. And we thank you, Father God, in your name. Amen. Amen. Happy fall, everyone. Today, we are headed out to the RV show. So you guys, come along with us and enjoy some of the RVs that we're going to see. And you can decide if it's for you or not. We're going to check out prices. We're also going to be looking at the interest rates to see what are the RV companies offering that the banks are not offering. Are they lower or are they higher? So we're going to check out some RVs and you guys, we invite y'all to come along. And today the show will be at the Jacksonville Equestrian. What you think about the RVs? You think they're gonna have some good prices today for us? Well, we'll hopefully we'll get lucky and find one in there. We're out looking for it, so the prices are going down. So we're gonna go in and see what it's showing for the year. All righty, then, y'all. We're headed inside. We'll see y'all when we get inside. All right, guys. We're gonna see what other people think about these RVs to see if the price is up or down. So you guys, we're getting ready to go in. We're gonna see what they have, and we're gonna see what other people think. Is it the time to go traveling? Yay or nay? You guys, this is a really nice van. I had to uh, mute out the sound just for a moment because they're playing uh, some rock music in the background. This van is by Campers Inn. It's on a Mercedes Chastity. It's $209,000 and they have a $34,000 uh, discount. You guys, this is a really, really nice van. But I think it's a little tight. I think it's kind of tight in the inside, but it has all the bells and whistles. They have the kitchen layout. It has the LED lights. It has uh, the back area where you can sleep. You can sleep two to three people in it. You guys, look at there. It has the TV. And this is one of the Campers Inn model. This is the refrigerator. It has a nice little refrigerator. And it has a bathroom, but I do not like the wet bath where the toilet and the shower is a combo. So, you know, uh, you have your toilet while you're standing up there taking a shower. And it's all in one. So that's a deal breaker for me. But it's a nice van if you're looking for it, you know. They have it on a Mercedes Chastity. You guys, it has a, a navigation screen. And they left the key in the cup. We are looking. So we're going to check out some of the class A's to see what they have. Y'all, they have discounted a lot. Like this one here, 
was a Noir Daystar and it is $2,235,995 but you get $34,930 in savings. So they just give you an estimate of what your note will run around if you are looking for a Class A. Class A is a bigger motor coach. I'm going to stand back so y'all can see this one. It has a awning on the outside, y'all. And it has a one slide out I see so far. That's the slide out. So let's go inside and see what this one is looking like. This is a Campers Inn RVs. It is big. It is spacious. It's got night. Oh, you guys, wonderful. It's on a Ford Chastity. Yeah, it's a Ford. It's got a navigation system. Oh, y'all, this is nice. This is really nice. It's got a dinette set here yeah. with the TV. It has a nice kitchen. And it also has the theater seating chairs. Y'all, I'm loving it. This is the bathroom, and it is nice, spacious, it has its own shower, it has its own toilet, and sink. Hello everyone. Yeah. Y'all, this is nice. This is the bedroom area, and this is where that slide out uh, for the back bedroom. It has a king size bed and it also has pocket doors. These pocket doors here where you can close them. This is nice. It has a TV in here. Y'all look. Oh, hey beautiful. Look at that beautiful baby. Hello. I have two German shepherds. <laughs> You going with mama? See you later. Yeah. But this is nice. Oh, look up there, y'all. It has um, a bed that come down a hideaway loft. And it can hold up to 500 pounds, y'all. That class A is really, really spacious. And look, y'all. Look at it. And it has a slide out, two slide outs. And look at this, y'all. It has um, also a built in little fireplace. Y'all, I love the floors here. And look, y'all, look at the kitchen area. Look here. It is beautiful. It has a deep style farm sink. Look at the beautiful cabinets. Lots of storage. Oh wow, look at the bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. Lots of storage. Oh wow, it has three, four slide outs. Lots of space. The slide out will give you more room when you get ready to uh, camp and park. It's very, very nice. How y'all doing today? Look at this. And the bed is also adjustable. It goes up and down. This is very nice. Yep, it is very, very, very nice. And it also has pocket style doors. Look at that. Pocket style doors. You can hide away in here. Oh, wow. It has a residential style refrigerator. Residential style refrigerator. It is huge. Y'all, I'm loving the class A's. But it'll be too big for us. We're looking for a class C. So a little bit uh, uh, smaller than these A's, class A. So you guys, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna check out the class C's to see what they have. You know, it's something to think about if you are in the mood for traveling, looking for an RV, 
if you thinking about getting a van type RV or you thinking about getting a class A. Now these are the class C's. I'm loving the Sun Seekers. This is a Sun Seeker because it is small for us. It's bigger than the van, but these both right here are the class C's. It's bigger than a van, a travel van, and it's smaller than the class A. Now, this is on Mercedes Chastity. Anything that's on a Mercedes, you know if you need repairs, it's going to be a little more expensive than a Ford or a Ram Chastity. So, yeah, this is the uh, Sun Seeker. Yep. Let's see what they are going for. This one is 124,000 with 41,850 and total savings. And your note will be about 900 per month. And this is like uh, a map of uh, the diagram. And it sweeps six. Let's see. And it's on uh, Mercedes Chastity. So yeah. It's got the seating here. It's got the bed. It's got the separate bathroom. Yeah. This is nice. And it has a loft with the TV. Yep. This is very, very nice. Let's see y'all the people they have out here. They have campers in. These are the people that are out here like blue campus RV. They have the general RV and DH trucks camper emporium. They're out here also. So yeah. RV lifestyle vendors. And this is the Jacksonville RV Fall Show. Very, very nice, y'all. I like the microwave because it has a convection oven. And this is 25 feet. Let's go see what a longer one. Uh -oh. All right, you guys. Here is another Forest River. It, this one is not on a Mercedes Chastity. It is on a Chevy Chastity. So... This is very, very nice. And it's 25 feet long. And it can sleep seat seven. And the show price is 82,995. So you get a total of 28,624 in savings. And the note will be around 597 a month. And this is the diagram of the things that they have. So we have a queen bed inside nice little stove area and it has a loft with the TV a dinette so let's go inside and see what this one looks like I like the floors yes and it's on the Chevy Chastity yep yep TV up there y'all yeah. And it also have the dinette. Yeah, this is nice. I like the dinette because you can get about six, seven people there. And this is the kitchen. And y'all, it has a... Uh, also, you can let this up to extend the countertop for cooking. Yes. It has a queen bed. And it has this little curtain right here so you could separate and this is your wardrobe where you would put your storage in stuff for storage and it has a uh, outside sink out of the bathroom and this is the bathroom it's a separate shower and toilet area it's a little tight So let's go see what a one that's a little bit larger looks like. 
this is another this is a forest river let's see and this is 24 feet this is a forest river and the length of this one is 32.3 feet so and it's for 108,000 42,384 in savings, 785 a month. Sure, I'll make up an answer. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> this is uh -huh. the floor plan layout. So let's go, it wouldn't have an outside TV. So let's go in and see what this one is looking like. Hey, sweetie. Look who I find in here, y'all, my sweetie Pat. What are you doing up in here? <laughs> Up here in this hot van. Oh yeah, boy, it looks you in the good. Hot van. Yeah, out of three, I've gone to. I like this one better. Yes, I do too, sweetheart. Yeah. It's, bigger, it's bigger, and it's on the Ford chassis. Yeah. Well, all yes. the ones I've checked out so far, I love this one. Yes, yes, yes. Looking at the quality of this stuff, though. Back up here. Yeah, the quality, and that's some. It's not great quality, y'all, because it's like the trim is coming down. The doors look good. That's flimsy. Yeah, the doors are flimsy. Particle board. It's particle board. I you like the layout, though. I like the layout, too. I love the cabinet space. For the amount of money. You take this. You guys, look at the RVs that are out here. It is huge today. They have a lot of RVs to show. And we're going to be taking a look at some more. So we have a full day out here, y'all. Because you really want to know, you know, if it's worth getting it. It's not that many people out here, as you can see. It used to be crowded. So we'll talk with a few people to see it and get their thoughts on what they think. Question do you think what do you think about the RV industry is it time to go traveling or not it's always time to go traveling what do you think about the prices of the RV and this is the end almost the end of 2024 they'd move more of them if they would lower <laughs> I've been RVing since 1962 we started in a 10-man tent then we got a pop-up camper then we've had probably half a dozen travel trailers. This is Tammy, we're related, and she bought a Mini Winnie, which is a 28-foot Winnebago, and she's been boondocking for 20 years. Most. Wow, that's So wonderful. she really was a pioneer before boondocking became uh, popular. I bought a 2014 26-foot self-contained travel trailer for $12.95. Wow, $1,295. That was pre-pandemic or right pre-pandemic. And then since then, they have just gone out of sight. She just made an offer of $71,000 for an 18-foot self-contained van. Best that she could get them to come down to 75. The prices are just ludicrous, my opinion. I mean, it just takes the fun out of it when you pay $75,000 for something. You don't have money to use the, 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 the vehicle travel. with. Yeah. You know, so I'm building one myself, and wow. I'm getting uh, 14 and a half miles to the gallon. You go 10,000 miles, a half a mile to the gallon is huge. So, so is there any company out here you think you would recommend? Well, there's three types of RVs. There's the Mercedes, the real expensive one. Then you've got the middle grade, the Chevrolet, and then you've got the cheap, whatever a cheap car is, uh, like a Fiat or something. But it's in any industry. Uh, you get what you pay for. And of course, there's self, there's hard side RVs and then there's soft side RVs, and that's can doing with the weather. So, is been, there anyone that you recommend? Forest Rivers is an inexpensive. Uh, manufacturer. A class C, right? But see, two things that people don't think about RVing. Where are you going to keep it? Yep. You're going to cover it up or you're going to leave it out in your yard? You can't. She's paid $75,000 for a, a, tra a, an R a van and she's it's sitting out in the rain and the sun and the heat. It kills them. you got to cover it. That's a and good then point. another thing is can you afford it? A campground 
the cheap campgrounds nowadays is $110 a night. It's cheaper to go to a hotel. Wow. Yeah. yeah. See, people don't think about where they're going to store it and then campsites. And you think about going on a holiday like Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Easter, Valentine's, anything camping, you can forget it unless you get a uh, reservation months in advance. There's wow. no campsites. Wow. I've traveled around the United States two different times in 2000 and then uh, 76. So. And Canada. Well, thank you. So, are you going to buy your R uh, RV today or you wait? Probably not going to get it. All right, y'all hear it, everybody. That gap. Yeah. You guys, thank y'all. And thank who are you, you from? Where are you from? Jacksonville Spice. Okay. Hope so it helps people thinking about going camping. It's a great family sport. All right, thank you. Thank you. You guys, here is a travel trailer, and we're gonna see if. Um, have any prices on it on the outside but we can always ask and see what they are running for this is a J flight by J Co uh, yep. let's see what it's looking like in the inside seating area okay that's the bed area yeah let's see here Y'all, this is nice. It's got a dunnet and a sink area. Oh, y'all, this is very nice. A little bit dark in here, but it has two bunks. It has two bunks inside. You have a bunk for bed for somebody here. Let's check out the bathroom. I like that the sink is outside. And it has a toilet and a shower area very very nice so if you're in the mood and you're looking for a pool travel trailer this is what they have the price for this one it's a new 2025 um, Jayco J flight XLX it's a bunkhouse meaning the two beds in the back and it's listed for 34,136 so, but the discounted price is $21,995. Get a two-year warranty, tankless water heater. So, if you are looking for a pool travel trailer, great price. And it's brand new, y'all. It has, it has everything. You know, it's have the uh, stove, the refrigerator. It's everything. So, yeah. This is a nice little pool travel trailer. Yep. Y'all, the travel trailers, the prices has drastically come down on them. Drastically, drastically. They have, if you come to the RV shows, they have uh, different RVs. Let's go to this one here that says the North Pole and this one is also by Jayco this is a fifth wheel so the one that we just saw was a travel trailer this is the fifth wheel so we're gonna go in here we're gonna check this one out it has an outdoor kitchen it's an outdoor kitchen Oh, y'all, this is nice. Look at here. Very, very nice. It is very, very nice. The TV. And it has a kitchen area. Y'all, look at this. It has a hidden room. It looks like it's a pantry. It's dark in here. But it's a hidden little room. Isn't that cute? Oh, this is nice. Let's see what's, what the price is. It's listed at $150,000, but they have it on sale for $100,000, So, yeah. Y'all, this is really, really nice. It has upstairs. Nice big bathroom. Look at this bathroom. 
very nice y'all and this is the bedroom and it also has an area back there for washing and dry hookup yeah this is nice this is very 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 nice so yeah it's a nice rv and it has a little loft up here that's too cool you can sleep with a lot of people in this one Yeah, it's about the rates. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. How, how much are your like RV rates? Uh, are they up or are they down? The rates, um, they've been staying about the same between nine, nine and ten percent. So even with the rate cut, they haven't went down any. Not that much. RVs is a time to buy one or not. You know, see what the rates are like and stuff like that. Now's the time to buy one because the cost of the, the prices on them. You know, it's Say that again. I said now's the time that you can purchase one because the, the prices haven't been this, this good in a long time. Yes, that's why we are here too. We look at the purchase one too. All right, guys. The rates, you're that between nine and six. Between 89%, but the price. Alright, you guys, you heard about the rates. The rates are kind of still competitive with the banking rates. Nothing has really, really dropped. We have looked at several RVs and travel trailers, class C's, class A's. You guys, with this economy, it is still inflated and overpriced. So you guys go out there and make the decision and I thank y'all for watching. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe.